the headhunter paired with a hefty dose of hog riders might just be a new powerful attack strategy for Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 13. Hope you all are doing well by Sectatron here, bringing you today's video and we are discussing just that, the new troop, the headhunter, and how it can be used with the mass hog rider attack strategy to triple some 12s and some 13s, something that I saw right away as a great use of the headhunter. So we're gonna focus on that in today's video using some replays from Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 13, talk about how to use it and how to possibly defend against it. I'm gonna be covering on my channel um, the headhunter and the other new super troops as well. Um, and how to use them and how to defend against them. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Let's get into the details of this attack strategy. What I am doing right here at Town Hall 12 is I'm putting a battle blimp with some yetis in a rage. I'm using that to take out the top part of the base here, used my king and queen to take out the bottom part of the base. There was no CC troops, so I didn't have to poison anything. And then that makes the pathing narrow enough to send in these hog riders um, with four heals, a couple freezes, and then just keep them going through the base. The defensive queen is over on the other side there, so I'm gonna deploy the headhunters behind the hog riders. I kind of forgot about them a little bit, but it's not a huge deal. Um, the king, or sorry, the queen will not kill the hog riders that fast. So here they come, kind of forgot, um, still getting used to deploying them. Queen, I went ahead and used my poison on her, but you'll see how fast these headhunters are gonna take down the defensive queen. As soon as they lock on, um, she can't even take out one of them. And you can see that they can survive about one shot from the queen, the second shot is going to kill them. So ideally, the queen is gonna be locked on to your hog riders as they approach, but as long as they engage her before she starts shooting at them, it's a pretty safe bet they're gonna get her taken out very quickly and without much of a chance of uh, anything going wrong. So we will take a look at several more replays uh, of these headhunters and the hogs in action. So here we go with this next base. You can see that I'm using my king down at six o'clock to just kind of enter into the base and clear out a little bit of those bottom defenses. A big thing for Town Hall 12 mass hog rider attack strategy or any Town Hall level where you're bringing a big dose of hogs you need to narrow down the pathing a little bit by clipping out some defenses, especially if you need your hogs to path into the core where there's a lot of buildings um, that are extremely valuable, like the Town Hall, the Eagle, those Inferno Towers. And yeah, these are you know some somewhat of uh, farming bases. Um, we're gonna see a combination of, of them and some anti-three-star bases. These are from some multiplayer attacks, and I'll be sure to give you guys some more attacks uh, as we see them. We're still very early though, just wanted to experiment with a few things here. And you can see that um, in the, the last attack, and you'll see in this one as well, that this attack is doing very well against these Town Hall 12 bases. <clears throat> Granted, there's no CC troops. Um, I think a poison spell can deal with most of the CC troops that would be harmful to hogs besides a dragon. Here come the headhunters locking onto the queen, and she goes down very, very quickly. Um, you can see doesn't stand much of a chance against those headhunters. Then they'll continue through the base and just start taking out these regular buildings. Um, and they'll take out skeleton traps too, um, should they pop uh, in their vicinity. So anyway, uh, the tornado unfortunately pulled all my hogs to the eagle instead of to the town hall. So um, the town hall was about to go down. Uh, it didn't because the hogs got pulled away, the headhunters actually locked onto the town hall and did a significant amount of damage to help out those hogs, uh, which was very nice there. They're gonna get a little bit depleted towards the end, but there'll be enough to kind of move through and take out the rest of this base. If you guys are familiar with Town Hall 12, you know that this was a somewhat of a fringe attack strategy. We see it a little bit here and there. The main issue is that you have to bring, you know, one to two skeleton spells previously to kill the defensive queen and possibly other heroes like the king. Um, however, with this new addition of the headhunter troop, you don't need to bring those uh, skeleton spells, um, which were not that reliable to begin with. Now you have the benefit of a troop that can reliably take out the defensive heroes. And that is something that's really gonna make this a much, uh, I think, more viable attack strategy for this town hall level. Um, so anyway, this is gonna clean up here. We will fast forward to the end. One more Town Hall 12 attack, then we'll switch gears and take a look at some Town Hall 13 attacks. This uh, this last one here, you can see we're coming in towards the Town Hall. Suey the hero's there. 
um, not a requirement and um, oftentimes it's better to go for an inferno tower and um, an area that has a lot of expos and uh, wizard towers because oftentimes the town hall doesn't have much value around it but in this case um, several other defenses can be taken out at the same time and it also is going to help carve out some path in here for the hog riders um, so we're going to go ahead and send in the battle blimp which i'm a big fan of using uh, to help narrow down the base some people might use a siege barracks with some hogs in it but the uh, advantage of using the battle blimp is you can uh, target an inferno tower directly get it taken out and really help narrow down the pathing and take out a uh, very uh, difficult building uh, defensive building for those hog riders to deal with so here come the hogs uh, starting with a two finger deployment and just kind of reinforcing around the base here first heal spell is down more hogs coming from the top and we'll see here come the headhunters that's when you want to deploy them about that timing went ahead and froze the queen missed the eagle unfortunately headhunters come in um, they lock onto the queen she has no chance you probably don't even need all three of them I bring three just to be safe and just to kind of show the um, the troop off in this video but you could probably get away with two or even one in some situations if the queen doesn't lock on to it uh, right away you, sh you should be fine um, they slow the queen down a lot and uh, that is kind of one of the main uh, benefits of this troop so anyway the hogs come through an extra heal spell uh, for those last few buildings once again just crush this base and yep it's unfortunate we're not seeing a lot of CC troops guys um, if the CC troops are not dealt with by your heroes when you uh, deploy your king and queen, that poison spell will typically be enough. Um, and also the headhunter, if the heroes are both taken out, they'll typically switch on like any normal uh, troop that has no target preference, like a wizard for example is the best comparison. They'll switch and target uh, the defensive CC troops if they aggro them, if they're in the area. So. Um, depending on the situation, they can be used to help take out dragons or other CC troops that might not go down to the poison spell. But generally speaking, um, the CC is not going to be a, too much of an issue. So yeah, a few Town Hall 13s now. Um, Town Hall 13, a little trickier because you have the scatter shot. Um, the Royal Champion actually functions a little bit like the Headhunter in a sense because she could previously have been used to follow the hogs into the base and then she switches gears and will target defensive heroes if they start hurting your hogs. Um, but the benefit is you can now free her up to take out other parts of the base and that allows you to, um, to, to, to take out uh, parts of the base that would be a big obstacle for your hogs. Then you just use the headhunters with the hogs to take out the defensive heroes. Uh, this base I thought actually could have been tripled it's not going to, as you'll see in this attack, if the queen went in there and took out the town hall. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Um, this was one of my first attacks using the headhunters, so I was a little bit not sure how to deploy everything. Went ahead and just sent these hogs in. Um, gonna go ahead and start dropping my spells now. Scatter shot definitely can do some work on your hogs if you don't uh, get it frozen. CC troops come out, just a poison for them. The P.E.K.K.A. is definitely tough in there. Um, along with, it looks like a, a Yeti was in there as well. The Battle Blimp should have been used otherwise. So this was kind of a disorganized attack, but actually gets pretty far into the base here. And you'll see that most of the defenses are gonna go down besides that last compartment here. So I think if I could have re-attacked this base, I probably could have tripled it, to be honest. Um, if I was able to get my queen to take out the Town Hall with a little bit better, better funneling, then using my Battle Blimp to get some more value, maybe take out the Eagle, uh, in that compartment and kind of narrow down the pathing for the hogs a little bit But you'll see things kind of peter out sent in the royal champion late to take out the town hall um, Which is sometimes a good uh, plan if you are afraid your ta attack won't take out the town hall to save your royal champion So let's take a look at a few bases where this did work um, These are kind of more of your standard bases that you'll see in your clan war leagues Maybe not the uh, cutting edge anti three star bases. There might be a little bit under leveled at certain defenses. I don't think are maxed on this base, but these are somewhat common bases, and you'll see that this strategy can deal with them very well, as you would expect a a solid attack strategy to do. Um, you can probably triple it with several different uh, strategies. This just being one of them. Um, anyway, going to go ahead and send in the king and queen. The queen is going to go in there and deal with that scatter shot. 
Um, mostly what um, I think is the best way to to uh, do this at Town Hall 13 is to try to take out the scatter shots if you can, at least one of them, with your king and queen um, or your royal champion. Just kind of suey those three heroes wherever the value is, and typically that's going to be taking out scatter shots ahead of time and also narrowing the pathing of the base. Then you send in the hog riders with the warden and then with those headhunters delayed a little bit. There's the headhunters coming in. I forgot to actually deploy one, as you can see. Um, it's well, I think I did just then. Um, anyway, the hog's coming through, and the town hall is about to activate as we get to 50%, something you got to be aware of. And a little bit of a delay once again. Um, this was on a previous attack as well. Town hall not activating right at 50%, which was a little bit unusual, I thought. Um, the headhunters got all the way through, took out the defensive royal champion as well, which was uh, very helpful. Used the Warden's ability because he was about to get taken out by the Town Hall. And um, as a result, the Hogs are going to hit that explosion towards the end there. But they're in the heal spell, they won't die from it. And there are plenty of Hogs left up for cleanup. So we'll take a look at one more attack and we'll wrap this up. So I actually had um, a couple other 3-star attacks. But I wanted to show this one because this was definitely one of the uh, closest bases to being maxed out. I think this base might be completely maxed out. And this was actually a very close attack. Um, almost got the triple. We'll see uh, what went wrong and what could have been changed. But this kind of shows, I think, a great way to use this strategy. We're using the queen to take out one of those scatter shots. We're using the battle blimp with the yetis to take out the eagle. Then we're going to use the king to tank the other scatter shot as the hogs begin to be deployed. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. There's going to be these three defenses, kind of, or at least those two defenses, awkwardly still up, but not a big deal. You can see the combination of the uh, queen, the royal champion, and the battle blimp got a ton of value on the right side of the base. And often on these ring bases, you can get some great value with just those uh, um, couple operations uh, separate from your main push and your attack. So the king tanks the scatter shot initially. Then we're going to go ahead and freeze it. To prevent it from doing too much harm to our hogs. Um, nothing to really go straight at the town hall here. That's one of the only issues uh, with this attack, which is why it wasn't able to quite take out the entire base. You can see the hogs moving through here. Um, in come the headhunters, dropping them down right there. Take out the royal champion, uh, no problem at all. Then another two to come in there and take out the queen. And um, I think the previous two were still alive and they already started taking down the queen. Royal Champion got targeted right here. Had I not had to use the Royal Champs, or sorry, not the Royal Champion. Had I not had to use the Grand Warden's ability, this might have tripled. The problem was he was the closest thing to those Inferno Towers. So I had to hit his ability much earlier than I would have liked to. Otherwise, I would have used my Freeze and tried to use the ability over the Town Hall. So there's still like 20, 25 Hogs left up. But they take down the town hall and the explosion kills them all. So that's one of the downsides. If your hogs are going in a big circle, the royal champion um, tends to be a little bit lazy, takes the hypotenuse, gets targeted by the, uh, the inner core buildings, and has to have his tome hit much earlier than we would have liked. So almost worked on this base. Just kind of shows that this strategy can be pretty powerful, um, especially against some of these bases that otherwise are kind of difficult with more traditional attack strategies at Town Hall 13. Anyway, just some preliminary stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll be sure to cover how to use all the new stuff from the update because there's quite a bit to think about um, at these new Town Hall levels. We have the, um, the Lightning Spell, which I'm very excited to, to play around with, and you guys will probably see that on the channel as well. That all being said, thanks for watching guys and let me know in the comments how you would like to use the headhunter uh, in your attacks. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.